The Oscar nominations are out, and guess who didn't get a Best Picture nomination? Spider-Man? It's the Best Geek News. Hello, hello, it's episode 527, and we have a lot to cover. First off, the Oscars have officially released their nominations for 2022, and per usual, lots of angry tweeters. Despite Sony taking out full-page four-year consideration ads, Spider-Man No Way Home was not nominated for Best Picture. <laughs> If it's any consolation, No Way Home and Shang-Chi did get nominated for Best Visual Effects. How is that supposed to make us feel better? Now, Andrew Garfield did get nominated for Best Actor, but it was for Tick, Tick, Boom, and surprisingly, not for straight up lying to everyone about appearing in Spider-Man. You lied to me. People also seem pretty miffed that Denis Villeneuve got snubbed for Best Director for Dune despite getting a Best Picture nomination, but nobody got mad Dune was nominated for Best Film Editing, even though what editing? That was just a joke. Today, Disney dropped the first full trailer for Lightyear, and it looks great, though I'm still getting used to two things. Buzz sounding like Captain America, and the absence of Woody. You are a toy! We also got word that the first trailer for Jordan Peele's next horror movie, Nope, will debut during the Super Bowl, but will I be tuning into the Super Bowl to watch it? Nope. In a new interview with Discussing Film directors Chris Miller and Phil Lord were asked if they could reveal anything about Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, and Miller revealed that each dimension in Spider-Verse will feature a different art style and that it's nothing like you've ever seen before. Except, didn't all of the characters already have a different art style in the first one? That's a good question. When asked by Cinepop why he's never taken on a superhero role, Mark Wahlberg admitted that while he does like some superhero movies, he also feels like, as an actor, he would have a hard time walking out of his trailer with a cape and with a spandex suit on. First off, can we stop calling it spandex? I mean, when's the last time a superhero had a legitimate spandex suit? Christopher Reeve? Hey, Spider-Man. Secondly, you won't wear a cape, but you'll wear a prosthetic Who's Dirk? Dirk Diggler. Good news and bad news for Yellow Jacket fans. Showtime has already renewed Yellow Jackets for a second season. That's the good news. The bad news is that the second season probably won't get here for a little while. In a recent interview with Variety, the showrunners explained they're in the early stages of the writer's room. But I want it now! Pre-orders for the new Evil Dead game are available now, though the collector's edition is already sold out. While the game looks like a ton of fun, and I'm definitely gonna play it, it also needs approximately 67% more blood to feel like an authentic Evil Dead experience. Why are you torturing me like this. Why? Finally, in a new interview, X-Men the Animated Series showrunner Eric Lewald revealed that the first season of X-Men 97 will only consist of 10 episodes and that the series will likely debut sometime in mid-2023. But I want it now! I hope you enjoyed the show. Now follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you like the video for support, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos.